We're preparing to, to decamp to New York. 28 new actors joining the company. It's such a brilliant fusion of the seven actors that are coming from here with, with, with a company based in America. It's lovely, actually, and I'm really, really excited to see them all meet each other and start work together. Obviously, it's the same production that will be going there, but certain things will be different based on the architecture of the lyric and the possibilities that that presents me. 60% of our audiences that have come to see this play have never been to the theatre before. And uh, the statistic we're really proud of is that 15% then go on to see another play. It's really, really exciting and hopefully, yeah, New York, we can have to some degree a similar effect. Where, you know, if, if it goes well, that, that would be our hope. We've, we've said publicly before now, all three of us are from families and school backgrounds that um, were not full of live theatre. <laughs> Uh, all three of us were state educated and we all discovered a love of theatre later and it's hard when you haven't been brought up to go to that space. You know, it, it can feel very intimidating. We were conscious of wanting to make this happen if at all possible. If we could bring in some people who had never been to the theatre before, we were going to be enormously proud and I think we've been staggered yeah. by the numbers. That yeah. statistic that Jack's just quoted is, is um, beyond our wildest dreams. And one of the elements that is essential to that is making the ticket prices accessible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're continuing that in New York. For every performance, 300 tickets will be $40 per part or less, with 150 of those being $20 per part. We understand this is one relatively small space, uh, so we can't show a million people the play at one time, but this is a way of democratising that process and hopefully making it affordable and reachable for as many people as possible.